Time now for a Drew's Dozen with a veteran. And he's not just a veteran in the NFL. He's a veteran of Drew's Dozens. You did one last year. You did one in the offseason. It's great to be with you in person, though, for a, a Drew's Dozen. It's the first time we've done this face-to-face, David Johnson. So first things first. You're a triplet. Yes. How often do you keep in touch with your other two siblings? Uh, quite often. Um, you know, during the season, it's a lot tougher. But in the offseason, uh, a lot more. Daily basis? Weekly basis? What are we talk? Probably weekly. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, like I said, I get busy. They're busy working and taking care of their family. And you were never able to pull off the like the twin gags on people. <laughs> it's a little tough because... Uh, they're girls. Yeah, they're, they're girls. girls. Yeah. So <laughs> did they ever try and pull that thing, that, that, that uh, sort no, of thing? No, not too much. They wore the same clothes. Like, uh, they both wear matching clothes, but not too much. Yeah. yeah. You know, Justin McRae's offensive lineman, he has a twin brother, and he said he and his twin brother would pull that sort of stuff, but then... Their mom found out about it when they were in fourth grade, and from then on, they had to be in the same classroom because they had been switching oh. classrooms. So I thought that was kind of funny. And I, I ask you this: I have twins. My wife and I had twins, or you know, a boy and a girl, and they're eight years old now. So it's it always interests me in multiples. So <laughs> very cool to hear. Um, what are your favorite nicknames for me that people give me? Yes, I don't have too many. Um, no. DJ is obviously a common one. Uh, as an elementary kid, I don't even want to say it. One was like D smiles, I smile a lot. Uh, yeah, because you're a happy young guy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I had road runner. I was road runner. Fast. I was fast. I was pretty fast. Yeah, I think I still am. Uh, so growing up, I had that one. Other than that, I didn't have too many. How much did you like track and field? I know you ran it, but how much did you like being at a track meet when you're not running and you're just kind of hanging out? Oh, I'm I talking like like in high school and oh, college. Yeah. yeah. In high school, that's that was probably the best part of track. Yeah. You only run for event, do four events. They not they might not all be running. Have some field events. So that was the best part is just being able to socialize with friends um, and hanging out. And you, honestly, like a hundred meters is what eleven seconds, ten seconds. So <laughs> you do all that warm, uh, warming up and stuff for eleven seconds. And I love the four hundred. So uh, four by four and open four hundred was um, my favorite race. But Track, honestly, was probably one of my favorite sports just for that reason. We got to socialize and hang out with friends a lot more. There's something and there's something about a big trap meet, track meet, too, oh, yeah. and that downtime at a track meet. Yes. Like, what's the best part of it? Besides socializing, you say socializing with friends, but there's a lot of different ways to do that. Oh, yeah. There's, and I, I ran track. I was a distance guy. But knowing what went down, like, there was always some weird thing going on at a track meet when you're not running, right? Oh, yeah. There's always uh, – usually we go eat. Someone's eating some – weird because that's their superstition right so like drake relays is huge and yeah yeah it's so, one of the biggest track meets in the nation exactly yeah. and so when we got to, when we did that um one of the coolest things is seeing obviously professional and college athletes and then seeing how they warm up and seeing how fast they are in person yeah and then another thing we always like to do is get outside the stadium and go and like get shirts or drake relay shirts um, but probably the funniest thing is just what people would eat like we had one guy he <laughs> would go to subway we go to subway and instead of ordering a normal sub, he would get a basically a cheese, a grilled cheese. But then they would charge him for as a normal sub. Right? Like, Why would you do that? Why don't you just go like somewhere else and get a grilled cheese? But he would literally just get cheese and bread. Did and it pay off for this guy? He was uh, he was pretty good. He was he was more of a uh, mid distance guy. Okay. And uh, we just never understood why he didn't eat any. You have any other chop? Uh, choices because they're going to charge you the same yeah. amount. And so he would do that. But we always, you know, did jokes. We had a lot of, uh, like, hiding people's, you know, spikes until right before <laughs> or uh, hiding their warm-ups if it was a cold meat. <laughs> and there were lots of them in Iowa. Oh, yeah. Do, yeah. Oh, it's cold by it. I mean, it's called the first half of the track sure. track meet, uh, track season. So we did a lot of, you know, just funny stuff, just trying to entertain ourselves <laughs> in between races. Who, so who's your all-time favorite track athlete? Uh, Jeremy Warner. Really? I would probably say Jeremy yeah. Warner just because, uh, like I said, I was a 400 guy, and he was kind of, when he was huge. I was about my age range when I was a kid and watching him. Michael Johnson obviously was huge, but he was a I legend. Was low, yeah. yeah, I was too young probably kind of for him. So I would probably say Jeremy Warner. Him with the shades and the chain running and stuff was pretty cool. Jeremy Warner could have been a hell of a football player. Oh, hell really? of a football. I covered. He played high school football, and I covered a, high, a, a playoff game of his. He played at Arlington Lamar, and I used to work up in Dallas, and it was 2000, so the fall of 2000. I covered a game, and they had like a – I don't know what offense it was, but they ran the ball, and they had a good quarterback who ran the ball. But two times, three times that game, he pulled up, and he threw it 
to a guy who was faster than everybody <laughs> on the field, and it was Jeremy Warren. Oh, yeah. And but he went and, and ran at Baylor, but yeah. he could have played some football, man. Like he was good. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah, Jet sweeps and stuff. I don't. Could he catch well? I Absolutely. I yeah, he could. He could okay. I think, and I think there probably was interest, but I think fairly early on he said, "I'm gonna, yeah. I'm running track. Right. I want to go to the Olympics," and he okay. did, and he yeah. it paid off yeah, for him. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I think he had the record for quite a bit of time until. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Jeremy Warren. That I always, yeah. Whenever his name comes up, and it doesn't come up often, I was like, I'm like, I cover that guy. <laughs> I saw him play. Yeah. Uh, football. Uh, okay, tell me about. A food that is overrated. Ooh, I'm not, you're, a lot of people are gonna hate me for this. No, this is your opinion. This is your opinion. You I'm can not a big Mexican eating. No, I don't like Mexican, Mexican category. Food. Yeah, okay. I'm not, a, I'm not a big. I don't know if it's the spices that don't sit well with me, but I don't eat. You know, a lot of like a lot of people love chipotle. Mm-hmm. I just I'm not a big. Not for not you. A big, but oh, I mean, we're in Iowa, and you know, there's only like one good restaurant uh in the whole state of iowa so chipotle was like two hours away and guys would literally drive yeah two hours to go to chipotle really for that meal and then drive two hours back to our college town so i was i was like why what is the point <laughs> and then i tried it when i got into the pros in arizona and i was like i don't see it but and everyone will ridicule me for it yeah <laughs> Yeah. Not, not big on that. that's interesting you say mexican food danny amadola was sitting where you're sitting right now last week he said shrimp what do you think about no, that? No, seafood is the best. But it's his well, opinion. See, it's his opinion. Well, coming from Iowa, I guess I didn't eat a lot of seafood. Yeah. And then when I first had it, I kind of like binged it, and so I love <laughs> seafood. That's like one of the things. And now I'm huge on oysters right now. Oh. And I'm telling you. Like raw oysters? No, cooked. 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 Okay. Like be char rocker. grilled? Yeah, char grilled. Oh, aren't those the best? See, I, I w- we went to an away game here, and we went to Maryland, and yeah. after we played the Baltimore. We had – they gave us charboiled oysters, and I swear I ate probably like 30 of them. Sure. And they're so small, you know. It's they're little, small, and they're del- – I mean, exactly. they're perfect. Yeah. So, um, see oh, – Danny, he's wrong for that one. That was a, <laughs> that's a terrible, <laughs> overrated food. What's the uh, what's the best meal that you are able to cook? Oh, that I <laughs> – oh, that's a good one. I'm able to I'm, – I'm a good grill, so I can okay. grill. I'll grill burgers, yeah. grill chicken. I would say it's probably cheating – because of the grill I have, um, it's cheap. yeah, it's not okay. Good, yeah. I have the uh, the pellet grill. You oh yeah, kind of yeah, just yeah. throw it in there. Mm-hmm. It's all on your phone. Tells you when it's warm. It's like an uh, an overrated oven, you know. And so if it tastes good, there's no cheating involved. Okay, good. okay? I mean, think about it. Oh, the end result. Right the 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 uh, means justify the end. In, okay. In, in food, I think the means justify the end. That's <laughs> okay, what I'm great. gonna say. See? Yeah. I had uh, brag about yourself, David. It's, okay, it's cool. Perfect. It's cool. I don't care what people say because people have told me that's cheating. And yeah. I will tell them the food is great, so you can't complain too much. And I grilled or I uh, smoked my ver- first turkey last Thanksgiving, and it was amazing. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. I did it. I I mean, it took me probably like two two days. You got it all set oh, up. Oh yeah, and then, I had it yeah. all set up. Had it marinated and everything. Right. And when it was done, oh, I thought I could have been on a chef show. <laughs> I I should have joined, you know, one of those chef shows. Good for and that's you, how man. good it was. That's awesome. So, uh, you've got a lot of teammates who are also excellent grill masters, and we heard about a lot of these new guys that came in this year. You know, they they'd get together and they would grill. So, of your teammates, do you know of? Is there one guy that kind of rises above the rest as far as just he's a great cook? And whether it's not whether it's on the grill or not, I mean, does anybody? What have you heard? So last year, obviously, Duke Johnson was a huge cook, okay, shoot, huge chef. This year, I haven't heard too many guys. Um, we all mostly talk about going places to eat, okay, you know, best restaurants and stuff. Because we're able Especially to again, being, yeah, exactly. And Thank then goodness. not just that, but we have so many new players, so they all want to see, yeah, the new restaurants that's in Texas, and everyone says how great Texas barbecue and everything is. Sure. So I actually, most guys come to me. Uh, more for restaurants to go to. Okay. Are you a barbecue guy? Oh, yeah. What's your perfect barbecue plate? What's on it? Oh, oh, got obviously ribs. Got to have uh, burnt ends. Okay, yeah, yeah. Barbecue beans. Yep. Mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Uh, coleslaw. Ooh. That's really the main, that's that's about it. I can't eat turkey. What's the drink? Drink is Sprite or sweet tea. Okay, all right. Yeah. That's good. Maybe mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, you don't see too many mashed potatoes yeah. with uh, barbecue. That's a good. That's a good. Add. That. I'll do that. Yeah. Maybe broccoli supreme. Try to be a little healthier. I told someone that. So they had a question for us the other day. 
during camp, not during camp, and it was the cookout question. Yeah, yeah. And I got so much heat because I was the only one who said to have a veggie spread at the cookout. <laughs> and but everyone, that wasn't your that wasn't your number one choice no, it wasn't. to to no. to back you up here. Yes. You were you were saying a, a lot of things and this. Right? Exactly. You weren't saying just this. You know, right? yeah, like yeah. top it off. You know, be yeah. a little healthier. You know? I remember this. Yeah, exactly. I felt so, bad for you actually. Like, yeah, I was like, come on, guys, you can't. You got to have a little <laughs> bit of health. You know, some you know carrots and some ranch. It's some ranch. You know, it's not absolutely. Super healthy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, a lot of guys are looking at me kind of sideways. Yeah, our video department kind of did you dirty. I'm <laughs> yeah, gonna, I'll did. call them out. I in think that they regard. set me up for yeah. that one. That was a setup. One of them's off camera. I can say that to him. But yeah, for the record, that was not his first that wasn't choice. My, no, it wasn't. It Obviously was the yeah the barbecue. One of many choices. Yeah. You like the variety. The ribs. Yeah, the ribs are the first choice. That's great. That's Jeez. great. Well, hey, David. It's been fun talking food with you. It's been fun, it's fun talking track and field. I can't talk track and field too much with too many people here, but uh, oh, yeah, you it. are a good one to talk with. And best of luck this weekend. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.